the question is, why is it important to have life insurance? And then what does your company offer? Because it's very important because we're seeing a lot of church people and people, period, who are doing GoFundMes and different things to raise money for those that have de- been deceased. And we, we want to help people today. Yes. Yes. Well, first of all, good morning. Good morning. My name is Lisa Kelker. I am a professional financial planner. I'm a pastor and I have over 35 years of experience working in the various areas of, uh, in the medical field. I first want to say thank you so much, Robert, for inviting us to the show and allowing us to share <clears throat> some wonderful life-changing news uh, with the audience on today. Um, in addition to myself, I also have my um, partner, uh, Senior Marketing Director, Ms. Tyla Harps Jones. Um, and at this time, I would like to give her the opportunity to induce, introduce herself. Hi. <laughs> she, she won't unmute herself or turn her camera on. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Well, anyway, I love all the awards that you have behind you. Uh, it looks like you have been blessing God's people and getting them ready to uh, prepare for life as they know it here on earth and even after that, mm-hmm. building generational Absolutely. wealth. So Absolutely. Um, I, I want to make sure that um, we give her an opportunity to maybe get things situated, but Um, let's just go ahead into it. And when she gets in, we can tap back into it. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. As we all know that as of March of 2020 worldwide, our lives changed in such a dramatic way when this deadly pandemic COVID-19 hit and claimed millions of lives. Mm -hmm. With that being said, many lost a host of family members. And in some cases, both parents, Uh, within days of each other, which left the uh, remaining family members in a state of devastation. For many, the remaining family members assumed that the deceased had life insurance, only to find out that the policies were never purchased, um, some lapsed without being renewed, um, policies were purchased years ago and not updated, and lastly, some did not have enough to pay for their insur- um, for their funeral services. So, um, and this could be uh, the main reason, um, oh, yeah, and this could be the main reason why we believe we saw a huge influx of GoFundMe on social media mm-hmm. accounts. Be clear that we are not negatively speaking on um, GoFundMe, but we want to do everything that we can do in our powers to get rid of the assumptions. Um, Unfortunately, these sorts of situations, uh, when one is passing or one have passed rather, uh, leave the family in a state of disarray, uh, chaos, resentment, burdens, separation, embarrassment on top of the grief that they are suffering. So we want to educate, to empower, to inform the families uh, what we have to offer so that if this should um, take place in their lives, that we, we have given the resources to help and most importantly, we want to we want to get a, rid of all the uh, assuming that this person have insurance and that person have insurance, um, because it's it's just it's just a situation where no one really want to be in, and we want to make sure that we take that burden off of our families to make sure that we have life insurance and I, that we're good. I think it's a myth that it's too expensive because you we grew up thinking that insurance was just so expensive. Let's talk about that because there's now we're learning now as we get older and more educated that you can afford insurance pretty much anybody can. Correct, Robert. Um, here's what I want to say. Um, 
being in, in, in my late fifties, um, I wish that I knew about life insurance as I do now. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, is that number one, purchasing it at an early age is very beneficial later in life. Mm -hmm. And we think that insurance is very expensive. Well, when you get older and you have health issues and, you know, maybe you have your smoker and you're unhealthy, that, that may be true. And sometimes in, in some cases, it could be when you're younger because you haven't taken care of yourself. But the fact is, is getting insurance at an early age, the earlier, the better. Mm -hmm. And you, it is affordable. I mean, we could we could literally get uh, a family of four. Um, it just depends on what they're looking for. We can get a family of four um, insurance, just a little over two hundred dollars a month. And you might say, "Well, ooh, that's kind of expensive." Well, think about the Starbucks yeah. and all the times we eat out. Yeah. Um, that this that you know uh, we spend. Sometimes we spend money foolishly when where it should really be going on insurance policies to cover you and your family. And to also make sure that as, as the husband or whoever the breadwinner is, they definitely need insurance because you don't want to leave your family high and dry. And that happens a lot of times. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. well, well, one of the things, and I know that your partner has come in or your marketing director has come in, so we're going to give her an opportunity. But I think it is also for people to understand is that if they look at how much they're just paying for their cable TV, mm. uh, they will know that they yes. can afford life insurance mm. uh, yes. just with, with the amount of money yes. that you spend monthly on cable TV or yes. or the different apps and things that you have it. But I do see that she, uh, she is on, so I want to give her that opportunity to introduce herself. Well, good morning. Good morning good to morning. everyone. My name is Ty Harps, owner, founder of Tyler Enterprises Incorporated. In addition to the Enrichment Leadership Foundation, we are based out of Riverside, California. I want to thank you so much for this platform this morning. We are absolutely honored. And my partner, um, Lisa, we are um, really excited to get the word out. You know, we're really excited to have conversations. We're really excited to have a conversation about alleviating assumptions. Yes. You know, just really briefly, while I have this very, very short platform, I was a widow at, eight, at the age of 35. Wow. I was forced out of corporate America. I made companies, corporations, billions and billions of dollars. However, three days after I buried my husband, they tried to force me to go back to work. They said I needed to go back and run their organization. At that time, I had to make a very, very brief decision, very, very abrupt decision to do I go to work and do I not take care of my kids? At the time when my husband passed, he was 45 years old. He was the breadwinner. After being the breadwinner, I didn't know what we had. I had an assumption of what we had. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if we had a life insurance policy. I didn't know if he had retirement at his job. I didn't know anything. So what this did 10 years ago when he passed is it, it made me, if you've heard the term, it made me get woke. And since then, I've been on this crusade. I developed this agency and we're out here educating families. We're out here having conversations with families saying, stop the assumption. If you don't come home every day on your daily routine of expectation with your family expecting you to be there to provide your daily necessities and your input to the family, whether financially or rather emotionally. The question there lies is, what are they supposed to do? If I don't die, guess what? Where do I get financial resources from? Mm -hmm. Is it a bank account? Is it a long-term care policy? Or is it something that is provided with living benefits? Mm -hmm. If you don't come home and you die, the next question is, where do we pull the resources from? Do we have life insurance? Is your retirement going to transfer to me yeah. as your spouse? Yeah. Is your retirement going back into something called the Teamsters Union or any type of bargaining unit? Is that money going back there? And where does it say that you're entitled to it? So I tell you, we're on this absolute crusade to helping families, putting families in place where we alleviate the assumption and we have something that's called a 180 degree protection. Because I tell you, I want you to think about something really quickly. 
for all of us that have life insurance policies, we're leaving about, let's say we're leaving $500,000, right? With the policy. Mm -hmm. Well, you, we have left a beneficiary, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, on that beneficiary, if you left $500,000, what and where is it written that tells them what to do with the $500,000? Right. That's true. Right. Where and what? So right. we are helping protect our clients 180 degrees. Not only are we putting you in the adequate products, making sure what you have is adequate, but we're going to put you in what's called an estate. We're going to make sure the trust reads what you want done with that $500,000. We want to put in the trust, in the will, in the power of attorney, in the healthcare directive, hey, use this retirement to take care of me. Mm -hmm. use this financial resource to take care of me. That is what's missing. So yes, to your point, yes, insurance doesn't cost him a lot, but we have to properly, properly put ourselves in the correct insurance. Mm -hmm. We have to put ourselves in products that make sense based on our family legacy, based on our family's processes of where we're trying to go. So thank you so much for this platform. I'm definitely, definitely will like, I see your finger up. So you got a question. I'm ready to answer it. <laughs> what about those with health issues? So something that's really important is that many times with insurance companies, you can only go to one. Something that I like is that we sit down with a family. We do a needs analysis. We discuss things like what you're mentioning pre-existing conditions, health conditions. We have over 150 companies that we shop your profile to. So I'm not stuck with the one company. Mm -hmm. I'm not stuck with only one product where I have to turn my client away. We have over 150. If there is a pre-existing conditions, I know a lot in our culture, we have a lot of diabetes. We have a lot of high blood pressure. We have a lot of congestive heart failure. Yes. But we have companies mm -hmm. that will even take a client and work with the client and give them what they call a step insurance plan. So we'll start you out with a little, we'll work on your health, let your health elevate. And then we go back every year and then they will look at you to see how you're progressing. So that is something that we absolutely love that we're able to provide to our clients wow. is that we have a solution for our clients. So, so there's a lot of companies out there. There are the PHPs, the Prime America, um, is your company independent from all of those or are you associated with any of those? Um, we are independent from that. We are part of a platform that is definitely um, very huge in the financial planning world, which is World Financial Group. Okay. Um, we absolutely like that group and, 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 <laughs> and, we, and, and it works for us because they have negotiated with various companies mm -hmm. because of our profile of agents and brokers that are part of the community that we're able to provide such services. So no, we're not affiliated with any of the PHPs and any of the Prime Americas because we provide not only term products, we provide annuities, we do rollovers, we also do executive bonus plans, we do key person insurance for our business owners and our nonprofit organizations. And we do a, a wide array of uh, other services such as LifeLock that you've heard of, credit. We do a very broad, broad, or a broad scope of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so basically, um, at this point, uh, we've been talking about uh, building generational wealth for mm -hmm. young people. Mm -hmm. um, how do you do that? Or what's your recommendation for maybe a young family right now? Um, I'm taking out life insurance on everybody. I'm taking out on the cat, the dog, you know, <laughs> everybody, so that if somebody get hit, if the dog get hit by a car, I, I don't right. game up. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, uh, I, people. I, I know people that on life support right now. I'm like, take out an insurance policy. I'm gonna cash it in. So I need y'all to survive for two years. Right. After that, you know, we good. Right. You know, we ain't gonna pump nobody off. But you know, we, you know. So the, the reason why I said that is because a lot of times people don't realize that you can build generational wealth by mm -hmm. actually having your children take out life insurance policies on their parents. Because normally we try that the children bear the parents right. instead of vice versa. What do you talk? How do you train on building generational wealth through insurance. Pastor, do you want to answer this? Uh, sure. And then if whatever I don't cover, please <laughs> do. Um, well, first of all, yeah, we definitely <clears throat> recommend that you take out life insurance on your children. And, and with that, we, we would recommend the IUL, International um, 
I'm sorry, index universal life insurance policy, and that it is a cash accruing policy. And also we have the college um, planning um, that, you know, as, you know, having younger children, um, the parents can um, start that so that when it's time for their younger children to start attending college, um, there's, you know, they would have that actual, those actual funds available uh, to start college with. Well, that's important. That's very mm -hmm. important. Now, now Pastor, Pastor, how many life yes, insurance sir. policies do you have on yourself? Send me your well, social security number because I'm going put one on, <laughs> on, on you and your family. Uh, I'm trying to build my wealth up. Now. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got anybody sick in your congregation that need an insurance policy right now? <laughs> you know what? We, you know what? Actually, I, you know, uh, we are definitely talking about uh, wellness at our church. Mm -hmm. um, and we are, we are, we are moving in that direction. So we, we're, we're getting there and we're getting people um, to talk to health coaches. I am for one, I am a health coach. I have been for um, 12, over 12 years. And so with that being said, if we have families that need my assistance in helping them to um, uh, better their numbers and, um, you know, with weight loss or cholesterol or blood pressure, whatever, um, I am experienced to help to, to, you know, help them to get and to meet their goals. Well, so we, we, we got a fine tune chain going on here. Well, I praise God for Sister Keita. She says she a health care provider and she got a couple that might need some life insurance. Like y'all hit me up young lady. I'm trying to get, <laughs> but no, the, the thing about it is that, um, I think it's very important that we talk about health insurance, life insurance, and the different insurances yes. that we need and how it's used as a tool. A lot of times when we talk about insurance, it's like when you die, there's some money for you to get buried. Right. But we don't talk right. about the way that tool can be used for you to live and for you to get your children in college right. and for you to build generational wealth. And I think that is the, the premise. And what, here at GOD Radio 1, we're always about financial education. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We have shows on that. You know, uh, we're recommending that uh, 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 Twy Harp uh, get the advertisement on here. We're going to get you more clients. But um, the biggest thing that we want people to understand is that insurance – um, in the inner city and for people of color is vital in this yes. day and time. Yes, sir. We got to stop yes. being GoFundMe uh, 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 driven. Yes. Because so many yes. people uh, now GoFundMe is a come up. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody passed, everybody put out a GoFundMe account. Uh, and right. we find out there are four different accounts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and right. The, the funeral, they done cremated and the funeral cost them 50, uh, uh, 5500 but they were trying to raise 20000 Right. You know, right. those kind of things. So uh, let's let's just talk about, you know, just simply uh, a single a single parent inner city, maybe making about twenty five, thirty thousand a year, got two kids. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we receiving some assistance. What would you tell that parent? Um, if I may, um, a parent that is uh, that is young. I would first off uh, have a conversation with them and talk about what their financial goals are. OK, based on not only just what they're making now, but what they're working on mm -hmm. and what they plan to do in regards to their career. So what I would first do is based on their budget, mm -hmm. I would take a look and I would say, OK, let's look at how much your overall necessities will be mm -hmm. um, per month in the event that you die or you have a disability that is continuous, permanent, mm -hmm. a chronic, critical or terminal illness. Mm -hmm. After I do that, I would ask for, uh, I would go to a company, I would ask for six times of their annual salary to protect them mm -hmm. uh, in an insurance policy so that in the event something should happen to the mom, okay, there's things that in resources people can pull from and they mm -hmm. can, she can have a living benefits. Regarding the children, I would put them on a, what's called a step plan. The step plan would be the product that uh, Pastor Lisa was talking about. Mm -hmm. I will put them in an index universal life where these policies accumulate cash mm -hmm. as well as accumulate a death benefit. Okay. And I would have them, I would get the two policies on our children at about 100, 150,000. It would probably range about $25 a month. Mm -hmm. And I would put that for them. And then the step plan for the first five years while the mom is 
coming into her own self and career, mm -hmm. I would have that for five years. So it accumulates some type of cash. Mm -hmm. After it accumulates some type of cash and also a death benefit, I would put her on the next step. So the next five years, I would put her on a $50 a month payment for those children. That way, if she becomes a little aggressive, when those it's time for those children to go to college. Mm -hmm. And then when those children go to college, for all of my financial aid parents, you do not have to report the earnings and the gains to the financial aid department because mm -hmm. it is a life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Every year, I would go back to the, to the mom. I would do an assessment to mm -hmm. see where she is in her career. And we would, I mean, in her career and her finances, and based on our cash accumulation, I would do one of two things. I would have her start putting more money into her insurance policy, or we would take the cash accumulation and we would start a brand new policy so we can start the cash accumulation all over again. Mm -hmm. This way, it continues her generational wealth mm -hmm. that you were talking about. In addition to the generational wealth of what we're talking about, it also has a, 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 a increase for her children where her children, in the event, Something should happen to them along the way where they need cash flow from those insurance policies or they themselves contract a terminal critical or illness mm -hmm. will also be covered as well. So that's how I would start her on the step plan and I would continue to step her based on her overall growth and her overall plans uh, financially. All right. So. Uh, we know that we this is definitely an hour plus show yes. uh, because there's so many questions. <laughs> yes. uh, there are a lot of people that are in the feed on Facebook and, and social media asking for your contact information where they can connect with you all so they can ask more questions. And um, um, also uh, for, for those of you guys that need somebody to take out a life insurance policy like with me being a benefactor, y'all hit a brother up because I'm trying to build as much generational wealth. I just need you to last for two years, two years, and we'll be okay. All right. T -t 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 tell them how they can contact you and uh, we'll circle back around with you guys so that we can Absolutely. get more information. Okay, Pastor, go ahead. Okay. Um, I can be reached at um, Dr. Parker, Dr. Parker. 2010 at yahoo.com. They want your I'm also they want your number. They want they say what's her number? Oh, they, they want my they, number. They want the okay. contact. <laughs> they want y'all's contact number so that they can call you because you know everybody don't answer their they emails as quickly as a phone call. Okay. Absolutely. My number is area code 915. 951, I'm sorry. 951 491 9909. And, and if they if they just can't stay in the phone call or the email, what's your church location that they can come to Sunday morning service? Praise the Lord. Okay, so I want to clarify something. I am one of the pastors at the Healing Streams Community Church mm -hmm. in Moreno Valley, California. Mo Valley. Uh, okay. Okay, Mo, you in, in Mo Valley, we got you, but we still want to know where you at because we're going to come up, we're going to roll up there and be like, look, insurance lady, praise the Lord. We need, <laughs> we need some insurance, but yeah. we'll go to service first. And, and, she, and she's, she's from San Diego originally. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's Healing Streams Community Church, mm -hmm. and we have amazing pastors. Okay. Uh, uh, Pastor Carrie and Maria Davis. Amen, amen. And then going over to the boss lady herself, Miss Miss uh, Harps, is it right? Does it say it right, Harps? Yes, I have Miss Ty, yes. yes. Uh, Miss <laughs> Ty, uh, uh, we would love to get you back. Yes, on, you're wonderful. Because we want to uh, you. hear your story of uh, from where you came from. I think there's a whole story to help uh, uh, widows and yes. widowers oh, yes. out there yes. and how you restructured and built uh, this whole organization so uh we want to applaud both That's women commendable yes for uh the work that you're doing in spreading this knowledge to this com our communities mm -hmm. and we look forward uh to get you back um in a, in a more lucrative long term so that we could you know talk about you know more things i got questions i want to i want to find out uh who did your highlights you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, I, I want to find out how you came up with the names, the, the names, and, and why you let certain people in and not in. And you know, I want to find out all the cause the whole I'm, come up. I want to try to figure out how I can come up to be the billionaire club with you in. You know, that's what we're trying to find out. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely. I um I I would love love to come back. Mm -hmm. um, my story is amazing. I am a crusader for many. Uh, that have lost spouses, and I help people across the world in different states. I'm licensed in different states. Um, I can be reached 
at the Tyler Experience on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's the Tyler she, she Instagram. Go on Instagram. Go ahead, Instagram. See, you ain't Facebook no more. You Instagram. She moved up. All right. You know, mm -mm. <laughs> well, okay. Well, well, no, I have the Tyler Experience on Instagram. Uh -huh. On Facebook, I am Tyler Cash. Okay. T Y L A. Ooh, and then money. Cash. More money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tyler Cash, and I can be reached at 909-332-5323. My office is, I'll say it again, 909-332-5323. And my offices are located in Ontario, California. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's it. And you don't need my email because you have Pastor Lisa's email. Right. Uh -huh. But if you did need it, it is Tyler at tyla enterprises.com mm -hmm. i'll make sure that i get the information over to you mm -hmm. would love to speak to you um it's definitely time for us to alleviate the assumptions yes. i love helping people i have a couple of my clients that are on this morning i think uh lukita has put it in the chat she's mm -hmm. been a long time client of mine i have helped change her life I mean, and she, i'm so I mean, excited she's she about ready to give me some people that are almost gone uh, to get some things so i'm i'm, I'm oh, feeling her she's gonna be yeah. she's but, giving you the people from the hospital yeah. that's awesome. right <laughs> but, but, but the I sick do, and the shut in he, I, he I want he wants the church list yeah I do have one last question. Uh, to be a part of your organization, does everybody have to have an award-winning smile like the two of you all? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, okay. yeah. You do. Okay. Yes, because the energy is definitely, definitely important. Yes. But okay. yes, there is, if you are interested in joining our crusade and being a part of what we're doing, we do have a couple of different ways that you can join us, either becoming an a, um, actual agent mm -hmm. or you can even become a referral agent. But in any event, we have partners in various areas, various, you know, we're working on some politicians and things of that nature. We're collaborating with several. But yes, um, we do sit down if you are interested in our crusade and joining our mission and joining us. Um, we do sit down with you and we do have a, a, a face to face or a Zoom where we do interview you and have a conversation and kind of make sure you're aligned in our goals and, 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 our, and, our, and where we're trying to go. Amen. To because both me and Robert had that hey, Kool Aid smile. <laughs> we, can, we, we can make it work for you. Yes. Uh, but we want to say thank you so thank much. Thank you so for, much. This for, is wonderful. For, for tapping in this morning. Uh, I hope that it was fun for from from you. I never had this many people on a Zoom that supposed to be just one or two people. Uh, but for all those that Zoomed in this morning, we want to thank you yes. all for Zooming in. Yes. For all those that are on Facebook yes. and YouTube, we want to thank you all for tuning in. And believe it or not, we are at the end of the show. So um, I'm going to have Robert sing, our, sing us out. I no, you're you not. You're going to play something I, out. I, I need for you to give them. Uh, you're not gonna sing for him this so morning. No, not this morning. Not, see, see, you Why know, there's a see, there's a rebellious spirit. It's a rebellious spirit. In, in, in it's the a spirit room. of being in the cold in the evening at a track practice, and your see, voice. That's is a defiant spirit, I think. Yeah. Did you feel that? Did you yeah. feel that? But that's okay. Yeah. Because I actually have some songs up. Matter of fact, well, you know what I'm gonna do? What you gonna do? I just this is what I'm gonna do because you know sometimes when you have that defiant spirit, you have to go to your archives. You know, and you say that you can't tell it all. So I'm going to let him tell it and his daddy tell it. This is Robert L. Dean. I can't tell it all. <laughs> right here on GOD Radio 1. You have been listening to the phenomenal information yes. from my sister, Pastor Lisa. Yes. And, and sister, I'm going to call her uh, Cash Money. Cash you know? Money T. <laughs> you know, right, right. here on GOD Radio 1.com. <laughs>